kita tunggu pa, uh, dalam 2 3 minit ya. Sekejap eh. Sementara yeah. kita sharekan link tu eh. Sorry. Tak ada delay. Ramai yang register, Prof. Tapi maybe dia link tak dapat. Ah, tak dapat. Register 40. 40 lah dia register. Because the link is sent to them. Ya, yeah, ingat dalam tu ada sekali kan. Minta tolong share link yang dalam chat uh, to to all. Eh. Minta tolong share kalau your friend want to attend it. Eh. When they register. Itu cuma untuk dapatkan link pada kalender je. Hmm. 16. Sekejap. Okey, satu minit lagi lah kita start lah. Start lah. Sebab ada tiga ni, boleh ni lah nanti. Ada ah, 20 lah. Assalamualaikum. Okay, satu minit lagi kita mula lah. Uh, okay, okay. okay lah, boleh lah. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to all, to everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for the delay in starting this session because there are some miscommunication about the link. So please share the link with all your friends who are interested to join this session. Okay, um, my name is Hazli Mukhlis. Um, just to introduce about myself, I'm just joined as the chair for IISS eh, starting 1st November. So this, pro this session is organized by the cluster uh, office. And today we are honored to have three speakers with us, Prof. Sean Weng Tong, Dr. Muhammad Imran, and also Dr. Wan Abdul Kader. Eh? So with this setting session, we hope that all of us, especially UM researchers, we can try to apply for the grant, eh? for the Petronas grant. So it's good for us to listen from the uh, researchers that have obtained this grant so that we know what is the expectation, what is the process. Eh? And at the end of this session also, we have Puan Saidatul Azura from BPGP to answer the about the procedures eh, to submit the, the application. Yeah. So without further ado, I would like to invite a uh, first speaker, Professor Aira Dr. Chong Wen Tong from Faculty of, Faculty of Engineering eh, to share the research that he already obtained with the Petronas. Prof Chong, over to you. Okay. Thank you, Prof Azli. Good morning to every good afternoon to everyone. First, I'd like to thank the research cluster office for inviting me to share my experience in this Petronas Academia Collaboration Dialogue Grant application. So please allow me to share my slide. Hi, everyone. Can you see my slide? Yeah, boleh, Prof. Chong. So, this is the project that my team used to apply for this Petronas Academia Collaboration Dialogue Grant last year. So, it takes quite long. 
for the first time. Since this is the first time Petro, Petronas try to work with university in Malaysia to have some collaboration. If not, all the while they are working with their own university, UTP. So a lot of document, especially on the intellectual property right, need to be ironed out before we can start the project. So at the end, we only started the project this September after the award ceremony was held in the March. Huh? Okay. So I myself will share my experience. I know all the successful three, all the three successful projects from UM. We all have different experience throughout the application process until the award of the project. We just send in one or two slides for the first round through our UMCIE office. And Prof. IV was kind enough to present all the project. We as a researcher just stand by to answer whatever question thrown from the researcher or personnel from Petronas. Those that shortlisted was invited to submit the proposal. It's same as the template, only this time we have additional item that I will go through later. Okay. But the experience are different. So our project is seem like one of the easiest. You know, after shortlisted until the grant was awarded, there are no presentation, no interview. The the only email we receive after shortlisted is we we have been selected. Huh? Okay. So let's. Start with the Petronas technology focus area. I think the focus area is quite clear, and the researcher should try to align your 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 project according to the Petronas technology focus area. And from whatever information we can get, we try to. Taylor made our proposal to match the demand from Petronas. Okay. So last year, I think we are quite lucky. Petronas has shown strong interest on offshore floating wind turbine, okay. which they want to develop the technology in order to allow the wind turbine to operate at a lower wind speed compared to the existing or commercially available wind turbine. So from my experience, what is quite clear they want is they want something new which cannot purchase from other people. Yeah, they have they have budget to purchase any technology that they think suitable. And whatever project that I think potential is the uh, project with a good commercial value. I'm not sure on T TRL, but during our application, our project reached TRL three to four. And this project or this opportunity is good or best suit the project or researcher that want to bring the project from lab scale to field prototype or go to the further stage until commercialization. Because if the project successful throughout the milestone that we follow, Petronas is interested in commercialize the technology. And the nature of collaboration between 
university researcher and fractonas it's like it's quite different compared to the other national grant or internal grant we have okay like from our experience for the grant from mohi or mosti or our internal grant the funder evaluate our grant if successful they award certain amount of budget to the grant and what they did is they monitor our progress through progress report every six months and at the end of the project we need to submit pro the what the final report but the PACD grant from Petronas is different Petronas through their Petronas research and they have a hat they will allocate a engineering team for my project to work with us throughout all the activity according to our milestone okay so we have big uh, monthly meeting yes sometimes held in Petronas, some sometimes in um or online and we need to submit the progress report after the progress meeting and the Petronas team need to compile the information to their to their management. So they also have the monthly reporting duty. So the the project, like I say, you need to work according to the milestone, and every every month we need to have reporting, not like the the other grant. We can. Like play around the duration as long as it's within six months before the deadline. I'm not sure if your project not fall within Petronas technology focus area. What is the how what is the opportunity there? You no, know? but. They try to align it to the focus area. I try to show the slide that we use in the kickoff meeting. Okay. Kickoff meeting was attended by the Petronas team and also Dr. Khalid, the one that gave us the briefing last week. I think the for me the artist impression is important. Our artist impression on this cross axis wind turbine, they give the Petronas team something new, okay. and they are looking for a wind turbine that is more effective compared to existing turbine in terms of efficiency and and uh, uh an operating hour and say in, in this case so it's clear we have something that match their demand that time okay we have a ready design that has been tested in our laboratory and wind tunnel testing which able to like i say to to complement the advantage between the two major wind turbine type in the world now the horizontal wind turbine horizontal axis wind turbine and vertical axis wind turbine at the same time we managed to eliminate the disadvantage of these two wind turbine okay? making it something suit the 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 demand of petronas they want something new maybe they one of their their purpose to acquire new technology and at the same time align with their uh, their activity outlook we managed to highlight the important the important and also the major problem of wind turbine okay? we don't need to 
highlight the, the, the market size of the wind turbine. Actually, they through their commercial team, they are aware of this. Okay? So they, they have identified all the, I think, viable technology or area that they are interested in. But we highlight the important problem of the particular project or technology. Like in this case, the reliability of mechanical part, how uh, critical with the current wind turbine country, uh, configuration when the turbine move from inland to offshore and uh, the worker safety is a concern, especially when the turbine installation were done offshore. And we also provide solution. Okay. Provide solution. So, in addition to the identification of the major problem, we want to highlight the benefit. Uh, highlight the benefit. Of the new new idea or new technology. So the, the, this chart that we made give a a good comparison between our new technology with the current wind turbine. So it show the the advantage or superior performance and with the explanation, it looks wider to the Petronas research team. Okay? And for your information, they have the knowledge. It's not like the evaluator in, in, in our normal, normal what, evaluation of grant funder. No? I don't say what, I don't say they are not knowledgeable, but for Petronas team, when they like to or they, they like or they want to select your technology, they study the project thoroughly and they understand the project yeah, carefully because they are the Petronas research team are not the one select our project. They are the one select our project to collaborate with us. But in order to be successfully awarded with the grant, they need to understand our project and present to their top management. So if they are not confident on the technology, they, they, they will be hesitant to present the technology to their top management. So when, from, from my discussion with the counterpart in Pretonas, so, they need to convince their top management to what to allow them to work on this project. So it's quite clear the project needs to align with the the policy, the direction of Petronas, and it must have the commercial value. And the technology is not available off the shelf, which they can purchase directly. The one of the question is why why we don't purchase the technology directly rather than take few years to develop with university. Okay. Let me show the, the the working principle. Then some video is always good to convince them how our idea of technology is better than existing technology. So they want to see the solution, the benefit as in the proposal template. And the evidence they also want to see the evidence.
we list down some of the important information here. What's the operating wind strength for our wind turbine? And what's the uh, starting speed? Yeah, they want something different which can operate at the lower wind speed. The objective is not much different compared to our normal proposal. We give some project acceptance criteria based on our normal design. Then project schedule. It's good to divide into milestone and try to be as detailed as possible on the activity in each milestone. And what are the deliverables that we can provide for each activity or at least each milestone? At that time, I think from our discussion with Pretona, at least they have the option. Even they want to stop the funding, they can stop at each milestone if they are not happy with the progress. But at that time, we are not sure the nature of this collaboration dialogue. Is it a research grant or, or it was a, a consultancy project? Then, yeah, the team, the team can be within our department, within our faculty, within the university or other university, either local university, private or uh, public use, or we can have international collaborator. Okay. I think that's what that's all that I can share at this moment. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, everyone. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Prof Chong. Okay, um, but uh, please don't leave first because we have another two presenters and we will shift the Q&A session after the three presenters so that the question will be easier to manage. Lah. We afraid they will okay. be a repeated question again. So we shift to the end. Yeah? Okay. okay, thank you, Prof Chong. Just wait. Eh? Okay, so we would like to invite next Dr. Muhammad Imran Mustafa from Faculty Science to share your experience with this grant. Hello. Uh, Hello. Can hear you, Tim Ryan? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll open my camera. Take a look at this. All right. Um, so I'm going good afternoon. Um, I will kind of i guess as as Dr. prof chong said the experience for each one of us is kind of different um and so what i i guess i'll do is i will um so i'll share like the stuff that we presented during the kickoff meeting um and then before that i'll kind of share you know the experience that we got so this is literally the slides from the kickoff meeting because i wasn't sure what we were supposed to do um Right. So in, 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 our, in our case, what happened was in if you can probably um, see that the title that we ended up getting um, presented um, or well, funded was actually different from the title that we uh, initially sent off. The process was long, as Prof, Prof Song Chong said, I think it was like in 2020, I think it was. So it was like a year and a half plus or a year plus plus for us to get funded. But what happened was uh, essentially we sent um, UMCIC asked for a proposal. At that point, we were we worked with um, UMCIC for a project um, with PGB, Petronas Gas. And so um, they asked us to send a proposal for Petronas and we said, okay, fine. So we, we, we sent the proposal, which was um, affordable distributed acoustic sensing. Um, a bit later on, we got an email email saying um, they would want us to uh, have an interview with them. So I uh, presented the, the initial idea. And then after that, um, in that interview, they weren't too happy with the proposal um, because of 
various technical reasons. Um, so they said that they would like to have a kind a slightly different um, interview, uh, sorry, uh, proposal, primarily because they wanted to kind of fit with what they were already doing. So at that point, they already had a project on distributed sensors um, close to being done uh, at, in Canada, I think. I think I'm, I can talk about that, yeah. So, um, and then, so they, they asked us to, to resubmit. So we kind of did. Um, and so this became the um, proposal that sort of became, you know, like what we found for. And then after, after that, they asked us for another interview. So in, in my case, it was two interviews um, or presentations um, before we got called for the, um, the um, what is it called? Um, the appreciation meeting, I think it was, was called. Um, right, so um, in our case, it was fairly different. And um, rather than, uh, in our case, um, it was more focused on um, the sensing side of um, Petronas. Um, in this case, it was distributed fiber, uh, distributed um, sensing. Um, it should be noted that Petron, I, I'm not sure if it, it was clear in if they talked about it in the, in the briefing, but Petronas uses it's a different TRL than we do. Um, so I think like our TRL three is their TRL one or something like that. So it, so when when you if they were to ask you to put your TRL level or whatever, then it should be with reference to the Petronas uh, TRL level. Um, secondly, um, the, the people who are calling for this grant is MPM, um, but the people who are administrating the actual Grant like the, the project management is PRSB. So NPM is like the overview kind of people. And then when they called for um, uh, evaluation, they would call like people within Petronas who have some degree of knowledge on what we were doing uh, on, on the actual proposals themselves. But then the people who would, once they've agreed that this is kind of going to be funded, then they would pass it on to PRSB, Petronas Research Center Mahat, to actually. Um, monitor how it is so in terms of payment I, i'm not sure also i, I didn't go to the, the petronas one because i had another meeting at that point but um in terms of payment it what well, it is done on a invoicing basis so we would have to do the meeting have the um pick um the milestones approved and then only we can send off uh, an invoice and then they would they would bill us for it so it will only come in chunks and We've had initial, we've had issues um, with two things. The first one is the buying of equipment. Um, they didn't say that they don't want to buy equipment, but they weren't exactly happy if it was too much equipment. Uh, secondly, um, it wasn't, um, what was it? They, they, so if you apply for like a trust, trust grant, what would happen would be like, you can, you can put all of the equipment cost in the beginning, like 50% upfront. So Petronas doesn't like that. They would want the percentages to be fairly small. So it's like, I don't know, 10% and 20% and then whatever percentage, but it can't be like a large upfront um, cost uh, for in, in terms of milestones. So if, if it's like a three-year project and you do your milestones every six months, it's like 10% when you sign and then, I don't know, 20% and then like 15% or whatever. It can't be 50%, so 50% and then, and then all the smaller ones come. I mean, so so that's kind of the stuff that um, happened after we we um, we got the grant um, done. Uh, yeah. So with respect to the actual proposal itself, what it is is I'm just gonna kind of this is a, hang on. This is a oh, this is a different one. Uh, I will stop sharing this. This one. Um. I guess we can talk about this, but essentially what what the project is is it uses this thing which is called is which is a distributed acoustic sensor um and you are basically changing um i don't know forty fifty kilometers worth of fiber optical fiber into a very sensitive microphone and so what they are using it for is primarily to um to uh replace geophones that's the ultimate kind of aim and also to 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 monitor certain um certain stretches of um yeah um pipeline whatever so that's kind of been used um 
The alternative for this particular case is this thing, which is called an OFDR, um, optical uh, frequency uh, distributed, uh, whatever. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, essentially, what it is, the difference is that you would shift the frequency of this entire thing. And the reason you want to do that is because what happens is because in, in the optical fiber, you shoot in laser and you, get, you always get some back reflection. And what they do is they basically interrogate the phase of the back reflection and find changes in the phase. And because they find the changes in the phase, then you basically he can hear what happens along the fiber. The issue is that this process is random. And so you get some kind of a fading effect. Um, and so if you shift the frequency slightly by using the acoustic optic modulator, then essentially you, you kind of you kind of get away from this effect. And what we basically proposed was to say, well, rather than using this technique, which is uh, cumbersome in terms of the data processing, we said, well, we just want to shift, shift it on the on the laser side and kind of um, you know get the same benefits. Um, and so um, initially we said that we wanted to make this entire system cheaper. They weren't interested in that. They said, you know, do something else. And then we said, okay, fine. So we'll, we'll, we'll shift this. Um, the, the the phase um, so yeah that 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 ended up to became uh, becoming um, funded so that's probably about it for me um, if yeah I mean I'm pretty sure people here would have friends in PRSB so speak to them I guess but um, there's not much that we kind of knew because when we were asked to to you know send a proposal it was more like please send a proposal and I asked you know, what's the template? And there was like no template. So was like any other proposal. Um, this year, it's a bit, you know, like, but and, and I know that people keep asking, you know, what is this and what is that? Um, they don't particularly care so long as, you know, there's, as Prof Chong said, there's like two things. The first one is there's a commercial value and you can't buy it anywhere else. So that's kind of the thing that that was, you know, like, throughout this um, proposal, sorry, uh, throughout the process that they, they kind of hammered in. Um, that's probably about it for me. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you, Thanks. Dr. Imran, for the sharing. So let's move on to the, the last one, yeah? Dr. Wan Abdul Qadir. Yeah? After this, we have Q&A session time. Yeah? Okay, Dr. Wan. Good afternoon. Wait, let me share my slide. Can you hear me? The two one tak berapa kuat lah. Tak berapa dengar. Tak dengar. Tak dengar. Still not clear, doctor. Still not clear. Uh. Now? Okay. Boleh tapi tak kuat lagi. Better lah. Kalau boleh increase. More will be good. How about now? Ah, okay, okay. Better? Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So, okay. Uh, can you see my slide? Yeah, yeah, can. Good. Uh. All right. Okay. Um, uh, Assalamualaikum. My name is Kadi. Um, this, uh, this, I would say, some kind of a share, sharing session, okay, on the Petronas and uh, Petronas Academia Collaboration Dialogue. And as you can see, uh, this is actually the title that was uh, uh, submitted to to the committee but uh, based on the uh, previous speakers professor chong and dr imran it will be changed from time to time based on the response received by uh, petrona side and uh, i would like to say that um, even though you are a, a senior lecturer or an associate professor or a professor please apply this okay uh, Today we have uh, 49 participants, so uh, please apply. Okay, you will never know if you if if the uh, your idea uh, get their interest. 
Okay, so um, and uh, if you look at the um, the form, the form is not that um, I would say extensive, like uh, FRGS or other research grants. Um, it is quite direct. Okay, and okay, so um, Prof Chong and Dr Imran they've shared um, uh, their research, but I would like to focus on. Um, the recent or the currently active collaborations with the uh, um, the Petrona site, uh, some of the uh, my academic background. Okay, this is actually the first visit where, uh, from the Petronas research team. So it is actually uh, headed or uh, spearheaded by Group Research and Technology. Okay, for for my uh, uh, sub program it will be from Petronas Research in Denver. This is in Sungai Merap. Okay, so um, if you apply this and you secure this, they will have a team from Petronas site that will monitor you every three months. Okay, they will monitor you just like what what Prof Chong said. If they if they are not happy with your directions, they can just um, um, cancel it and move on. So um, that is actually the 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 perks of uh, getting this grant. Yes, you get a good amount of grant, but uh, uh, they will spy on you like a hawk, and uh, you get uh, uh, monitored. Well, the good thing they have good facilities over there. All right, and uh, um, just like uh, Prof Chong said, uh, once you presented the idea. They will summarize the idea and they will present it to the uh, president, uh, Datuk Tengku Muhammad uh, Taufi Tengku uh, Kamat Jaja Aziz. So they will have to convince the president that uh, the project is worth of Petronas funding. Okay, that is really important. And um, after the ceremony or the award ceremony, uh, you will need another, I would say, 22 months again to convince the research team. So once you convince the president, you have to convince the research team. This is from the Petrona side that you can do this project as according to their targets because all of them are researchers. Uh, you have uh, Encik Gaddafi on my right side is the head of technical for a group, uh, Petronas Research Group, and also they are scientists. Okay, they are all uh, really experienced. They have 25 years of experience in what of they are doing. So we cannot basically tell lies to them. So uh, they will uh, come to University of Malaya to uh, convince themselves that uh, you can do what you promise uh, before they release the money. Okay, and. Uh, Throughout the application, you have to uh, decide intellectual properties, okay? Because uh, uh, normally, probably 20, 80, 40, 60 depends on the project. And uh, just, uh, I would like to share a bit, okay? Uh, let's say you want to apply, okay? You have decided to apply. If I'm not mistaken, the due date will be at the end of this month. So you only have uh, two weeks left. But what to apply? Okay, I'll give you some suggestion. The easiest suggestion would be you can try to open the Petronas Activity Outlook book. Okay, this is actually available online. Um, you can relate, okay, because this is actually from Petronas. Give you an example. If you are looking into energy, this is what they are looking for, especially that uh, the current government is looking on EV, electronic vehicles. So if you have uh, a great idea for hydrogen energy, um, they will like this, okay? Um, especially that um, hydrogen, as according to Petronas, is the future of energy, okay? It has been increased or quadrupled since 1970s. Okay, even in 2018, uh, actually increasing global demand and we need uh, a constant energy throughout the year. Okay, so uh, if 
uh, hydrogen is one of your expertise, or you can actually uh, con uh, collaborate with uh, any person who knows about hydrogen, please free to do so. And uh, if, uh, if you look at this um, figure, okay, you can see that uh, there are lots of countries uh, implementing decarbonization policies. Okay. Uh, look at China is self-sufficient, India is self-sufficient, USA too. But Malaysia, okay, Malaysia, we are basically in uh, a purple, purple color. We are actually still developing hydrogen strategy. So uh, it's a good way to go if you are looking forward in this particular area. Okay. Uh, the other criteria that you like to relate to if you want to look for an idea, because it's only like two weeks times to go, if, you, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can actually try to go towards sustainability. Okay. This is also available in Petronas book. This is their current plan till 2024. Uh, solar, solar energy, clean energy. Okay. And especially now, government is probably revising the, uh, uh, the energy charges. So this will help a lot for Petronas, okay? And how we're going to uh, power or supply the energy, okay? So uh, this, uh, they have three uh, criteria in terms of Petronas 2022 up to 2024, facilities of the future, okay? Future of energy and specialty chemicals and advanced materials. So uh, if you want to apply, try to look based on these three criteria, okay? And uh, uh, if you look at the current president's uh, speech, okay? Because uh, he's going to make the decision. So might as well just look at his direction. His direction is actually sustainability targets. Okay, number one is to manage GHG emissions, okay, greenhouse gases emission. If you have an idea, it doesn't have to be related to uh, petroleum, it doesn't have to be. But if the idea answers these targets, okay, let's say you want to create uh, a natural part that can absorb GHG next to uh, Petronas plant uh, center, they also works, okay? Anything that answers the sustainability targets because now they are having uh, waste problems uh, throughout the Petronas facilities, okay? And uh, if you have an idea on to step up more clean energy, okay, because this is their current direction by the president, which is to increase renewable energy, uh, energy capacity, to 3,000 uh, by 2024. And 3R is also in the other uh, target, which is to promote uh, circular economy, managing waste. They have they have a lot of waste, okay? Uh, not just around uh, Petronas plant, even Petronas gas station, okay? Petronas gas station also having problem in managing waste. So if you have prob uh, if you do have suggestion, probably Petronas uh, uh, NPE. You have a famous Petronas over there. If you have a suggestion, how to promote three R over there? Okay, so it's also a good idea. And I want you to nurture future leaders in terms of uh, sustainability targets. Okay, and. Um, the third one, if you can re relate your idea towards national biotechnology policy 2.0, it is also good. Okay, it basically answers what uh, Petronas is looking for. Uh, agriculture, biotechnology, food security, okay, health, uh, uh, and the current problem is actually uh, circular economy and food security. So. Uh, the idea is basically, remember, uh, when we talk about Petronas, people always look at petrol, petrol, no. Um, so don't be basically, uh, I mean, 
you never know once you try okay because um, they don't they're not looking for you uh, giving a new formulation let's say uh, a new ron 96 something like that no they already they already have that they want something that they can uh, use in terms of sustainability targets okay so uh, the other key aspect okay if you want to fill in the proposal okay this is what uh, i've uh, I've looked at what they decided. So normally when they read the proposal, they will look at the business style research figures. OK, so if you want to uh, prepare the proposal for the uh, for the this uh, Petronas Academia 2023, so make sure that you present a figure that uh, capture their interest. Uh, because uh, as, as an example, this is uh, it was a previous this was a previous project uh, with my uh, team in IOES. This is actually a micro algae, okay, a Malaysian micro algae. So this is what they are uh, uh, doing in Petronas Research Center. Okay, this is uh, they are growing uh, micro algae uh, using uh, uh, outdoor system. Okay, but this one. Uh, an indoor system okay so if you want to uh, prepare the proposal first make sure that figures must capture their interest okay so second part that i noticed that um, they want the flow okay less wordy uh, make sure that the figures captures their uh, interest okay straightforward uh, what you what you want to propose? You want to propose A, B, C. How do you do it? And uh, they like to see figures, nice drops, okay, and colors, okay, something that is actually direct. Okay, they don't need a lengthy proposal. Something that is clear, direct, with figures, and it looks, uh, it looks professional. Okay, this is um, what I would like to suggest. Don't focus on words, focus on uh, design or graphical abstracts. Okay, try to produce a good graphical abstracts. So uh, the other key aspect that I noticed that uh, is basically what can you do with their facilities? They have good facilities uh, in Petronas Research Center Amberhad. They have uh, a big system uh a ready made uh, commercialized system so what can you do so i propose to them uh, a combination of biorector designs and liquid fermentation this is why I, I propose to them and and they they like it however they will come over to my lab to verify what i've presented to them so be careful if you want to propose something make sure you can defend it later once they come for a visit so uh, I, I basically said that, OK, we have uh, an initial or preliminary uh, findings on that. So we presented the team, uh, which answers the Petronas sustainability. So we showed that, OK, we have uh, produced a new biodiesel feedstock from natural biomass. OK, so we name it Gano Diesel. This was produced this year. And also, you can play around with it. You can actually use the 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 dyes from the biomass as uh, solar solar cells, something like that. Okay. So uh, they will look at publications. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, other teams, but when they came, they will actually look at Q1, Q2 papers because uh, they are also researchers and they they have to publish. Two, okay. So they will look at your papers whether um, it basically can contribute to them. Okay. All right. So uh, there are lots of potential herbs and species. Uh, it is depends on you which one do you want to uh, explore. Okay and uh, try to play around with it okay you have uh, seeds you have plant based uh, feel free to explore and suggest to them okay um, the keyword is they don't want fossil fuel okay they don't want fossil fuel 
if you put fossil fuel as your uh, title, I mean, they, I mean, obviously they will not like it because they already have it. Okay, and uh, this is actually part of the partnership that I've made with the International Society of Organic Agriculture. Uh, it is actually how to feed the world by 2050. Okay, they will also look at your external partnership. Okay, what can you do? What can you bring to Petronas? OK, so uh, you can convince them that you have uh, uh, an active membership with the German partnership, which is uh, a very good contri contribution to Petronas. OK, so in terms of sustainability. Um, at the moment, OK, you can actually try to look at Gamoda curve. This is in Nilai. This is the, the only Jurassic Park, OK? <laughs> but we don't have the nice source, but you can try to go there and try to look at their sustainability targets, okay, which is in line with uh, Petronas. Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Wan, for excellent presentation and provide a very clear ideas what we can look up for the proposal eh? so it's really enlightening all of us okay so now we have around uh, 30 minutes for q a session so for those who are want to ask any question please introduce yourself and uh, maybe just pinpoint which speaker that you want to ask eh? so we open for q a now anyone have question please assalamualaikum prof Azura, uh, Azura from PPTP. Oh, Azura. Uh, yeah, if I can share the uh, proposal template uh, to everyone. Okay, okay. Okay. Boleh nampak ke? Boleh, boleh oh, okay. Okay. This is the proposal template. It's very simple. It looks like um very uh like uh Dr. Wan said it's not uh so as extensive. So uh we hope that this uh proposal can be uh we we must make it standard, which means um I hope that this uh kind that I uh, that we highlighted is come uh, with uh, manage it properly because okay for example the project schedule and deliverable and also I believe here we sometimes we uh, researchers will put the diagram and the timeline and we hope that uh, it in table or it will be uh, I mean the alignment must be clear lah here maksudnya kena uh, make it uh, clean and uh, nice so and then for number five, uh, CV. CV also, if you want to submit your CV from UM Expert, so we advise you to, uh, to submit uh all in UM Expert uh format. Okay, then um, I would like to suggest um, this proposal must be. Uh, using font uh, Arial and font size 11 and must be in PDF format and can we ask uh, applicant to submit? No, can we ask? We hope that applicant can submit to us uh, by 21st December uh, because we have to do technical checking and actually we have to uh, send for endorsement maybe our director uh, or tnc pen i will endorse all the application all the proposal before we submit so submit to ppgp and can cc to me or uh, uh, before 21st if you are intend to submit after this day, uh, after 21st you just let me know it means just email or call me and inform so we will prepare all the master list because all the application 
uh, if you want to submit to um, the funder, we have to submit with a proper way. It means with the uh, letter, uh, cover letter and the master list. So we have to prepare the master list before we submit. So it just, um, I, uh, I received information from the Petronas uh, in their previous session. Uh, applicant can submit more than one application actually. Okay, and then the successful rate is 20%, um, which last year, 20, in 2021, Petronas received 100 proposals from um, 16 universities and uh, 23 proposal was successful. Um, I think that's all from me, Prof. Okay, thank you, uh, Puan Azura, for yeah. the explanation. So, anyone who have any question letter can contact Puan Azura eh, in terms of the processing of something, the, the proposal. Okay, is there any question for our speaker? Stay open for any question. <coughs> Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, this is Dr. Shakil, and uh, I want to know that uh, because we are just uh, uh, just realized that we have to submit in 21 on 21. So uh, we need time. Is it possible that we submit to RMC around 25? Okay. okay um, I think we need to stick with the time because um, we're afraid that later if we keep opening that one, maybe others will also keep increasing the time. So I think we try to fix it. And yeah, also actually we will try. Our, we will try our best to be on 21. But actually, uh, in this meeting you are telling us and it's already 15. We are left with five days and two days are holidays. <laughs> yeah, we so just noticed. If we just noticed today that we have to submit on 21, basically we are preparing, but uh, the time span is realistic. We can do that, but we don't want to miss any information in her, in hurry. So that's where I my concern was. Uh, was that? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Try your best uh, because initially also I think the. The PDP also already sent the notification of the grant earlier. However, um, yeah. try your best yeah. and then see if one Azura able to accommodate it. Yeah, we try first lah. Can you point Azura? <laughs> uh, just email. I try to submit because we have to. I believe uh, on twenty fifth onward, uh, we um. Uh, most of the people will take leave the last of the school holiday, right? You try to submit by 21st lah. Then because we have to get the endorsement by the uh, our director. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, thank you so much. Um, one more question. It just uh, I also noticed can submit more than one project? Yes, yes, yes. One PI can submit more than one project? Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I'm just uh, Profan here. I'm just wondering, right? Is there any page that so far you all received the range of the pages so that we can estimate how lengthy you would like to draft the proposal? Because the format is quite simple. Yeah, the format is quite simple, and there's no uh, specific limit for the uh, proposal. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe the speaker can. And so, so how's your experience in preparing the proposal? Is it lengthy or just a short one? With Dr. Wan, can you share? Can okay. your experience? Okay, uh, okay. just a simple. Um, okay, for my part, when I personally ask them, they said that there's no uh, limitation, okay? So I try to rectify, what does it mean by there's no limitation? Can I ask for 1 million? They said, yeah. So uh, they said, yes, if you ask for 1 million, but you need to verify why you requested for 1 million, something like that. Or if you requested for five, 500,000. So they, they don't basically say there's no, uh, there's no limit. Yeah, 
they, they say that there's no limit, so you can, uh, and in terms of timeline, what can you deliver in two years? Uh, so you can you can make a calculation what what will be the best for your research. So the timeline is only limit to two years. Can I go all the way to three or four years? Yep, yep. They they said that uh, they are looking for long goal, a long run. So perhaps you want to propose uh, two to three years. It's also acceptable, but uh, you can see that maybe the on the first half you requested one million for the first phase, and uh, if it's successful, they will actually uh, add more money for second phase or third phase or fourth 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 phase, something like that. Another uh. one, I think in your presentation you did mention that if your first phase is over, then it will take the second twenty about twenty two months to go through the researcher in Petronas, am I catching correctly? No, no, the first 22 months is basically trying to deal the intellectual properties with University of Malaya. Uh, and uh, whether they agree or not on the intellectual property. Uh, let's say, let's say you reply 2022, and in 2023, let's say you get awarded, you will have to basically uh, discuss with the University of Malaya, if not mistaken, UM, UM, UM ICE, right? If not mistaken. Uh, and also um, IRO, okay, in terms of um, IP, okay? If both happy with that, then they will proceed with uh master research agreement and they will actually verify again your uh, proposal uh. Okay. Uh, dr so imran you want to add something dr imran uh hello yeah. hello yeah so regarding ip i think we shouldn't say this out loud primarily because um um oh, really only um uh, discussed about the IP, so they only gave it to UM, and so um, other universities, all of their research is by is owned by Petronas, um, and so like it's not clear that that will be the case going forwards, uh, as it were. I think we will still fight, but the the problem with that is, um, I'm not sure if we want to you know like say it out loud, otherwise other universities will be like pissed off. A little bit and everyone will start talking to Petronas um, about it um, and so um, the reason Prof Chong's and mine and uh, Dr Wan's uh, project hasn't started yet is primarily because the wrangling of IP took like three to four months and initially it was it wasn't it wasn't supposed we, we weren't supposed to have any IP in the first place so so yeah so so um i think we can kind of propose it if it comes to that uh we will like discuss it but then if petronas doesn't want to back down i'm not sure what what we're supposed to do um but yeah that's kind of like the thing that they didn't really want us to talk about as well um like please don't don't say anything um otherwise you know other universities will be pissed off and so on and so forth um but yeah so that that's that's there's the comment on 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 the IP side. Um, again, it's not clear what, uh, whether or not they will allow us to um, keep the IP this round. Um, all of the IP is going to be done by Petronas and not on our side. There's no uh, there's no funding for IPs in the in the proposal as it were. Okay, thank you, uh, the team run. So there's a question here. Uh, can a PhD student become part of the research team for the grant application or it only limited to lecturers? Can we, uh, Prof Chong, you can answer this. Can we appoint RA for the project? Yeah, we, we can appoint postdoc and RA. Okay. So in my proposal, I think they agree to have two postdoc and four PhD. Oh, OK, that's good. Okay. Yeah, so so the idea was when we were talking to them about this is essentially whatever that you need to make it successful, you can basically but, ask for. 
I'm not sure to put a PhD student in the Propos in the proposal, yeah, proposal stage as part of the idea. research team or not. Yeah, that a bit. I know it. Okay. Okay. A PhD student is not a permanent uh, staff in the university. Uh, they may leave after their study. Hmm. I'm not sure is it appropriate to put a PhD yeah. student in the proposal. Hmm. No? Okay, so they become the research assistant. Okay, there's another question. Do we need to have a preliminary result based on lab scale to convince for the proposal application? I think Dr. Wan maybe can answer this. Preliminary result. Yes. Um, it would be really, really good. Okay. If you have a preliminary result. Uh, and must be published. Okay. And because um, they will have a visit, they will come over to University of Malaya and try to discuss. Let's say you, you show that, okay, I have a preliminary data based on publication one. Uh, they will come over and they will ask you, how do you do this? Okay, can you please show us how to do? And, and if they're happy, and they will actually proceed with the agreement. So, yes, um, preliminary result will be. Uh, helpful in your application because it gives a concrete evidence uh, in your application. So I hope uh, all 48 here or 49, please uh, apply. Okay. And uh, just apply. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wan. Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, please. Michael from Nashua here from uh, yeah. Henry. Uh, uh, good day to all. I got uh, maybe one or two questions. The first one, so uh, as Dr. Wan mentioned, so we have we have to have a preliminary um, result. Uh, so uh, any any like you know uh, uh, exploration, explorative work, uh, like you know uh, going to kickstart uh, from the from the basic idea uh, would not be you know uh, really welcoming. Uh, uh, I, I should say. Uh, so maybe like you have something in your mind that you just want to to, to share it, and you just just want to you know present it uh, to propose it. So uh, without without any any backup, I mean we have our own literature this and that, and then we have, and then based on that we propose this this new thing. But uh, without any concrete backup, then it will be, it will be unlikely that they would be interested. That will be one thing. OK, maybe uh, any of you can 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 clarify this. The, the second thing is, uh, according to the um, uh, proposal, eh, the, the submission proposal, so uh, yeah, it, it's brief. Uh, and then uh, it says here background and scope of work. So in the background, OK, how 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 big we need, how how deep we need? Uh, I, I mentioned it, I asked this. Uh, they, uh, according to Dr. Khalid, uh, they say that uh, you just follow the FRGA style. So the FRGS style is very deep, you know, it's very deep. Uh, not not really, you know. That, but but the one uh, given here is just background, and then in the background you uh, maybe you, you do you need to have the a, a complete literature, a complete uh, motivation, a problem statement, and everything. Do we need to include everything? Uh, cram in one in one uh, proposal like this. Um, and and also the um, you know the my milestone and schedule. So how 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 detailed the schedule should be? Uh, I mean, according to Prof. Uh, Chong, I I saw we saw it. So uh, was was that uh, you know schedule uh, embedded into your presenter? I mean, in your proposal last time, in, in the, the one that you shown uh, in your in your presentation, was it, was it the same uh, schedule you put in your proposal? So uh, that's the thing. Uh, yeah, we need to have a clear clear you know. Uh, outlook on uh, what they, they should have, uh, what they, 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 they want or they, they, they expect from us. We can okay. be very, very brief it's and okay. we can be very, very uh, thorough. So that's okay. thank you. That's so all. We get the point. Uh, Dr. Imran, want to answer? So you. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of, I mean, so after the, the thing started, we've had like several meetings, like personal meetings, and we've been kind of speaking to them. Essentially, the way to think about this, this um, entire thing is that they are basically doing a contract research with us. 
and they treat it as if it's just any other project. So th if you think about project management, like how, you know, like a deployment of, I don't know, um, like 5G or whatever, right? You would have milestones for that. So they treat it exactly as that and they would pay exactly as that. So it's just any other project. And in, in my case, what happened was um, they said that the literature was way too um, long, essentially. <laughs> So they basically we just wanted like a brief background and what the problem is that we were solving. So they said, you know, we know all of this. You, do, you shouldn't put all of this in. So if it's like too basic, it's not going to be useful. They also don't care about, you know, the, like the five year stuff that FRGS cares about that. They don't all they, they don't care about that. I, in my case, at least maybe Prof Chong has something else um, to or Dr. one has uh, something else to say about that. And in terms of the milestones, we will propose milestones, and if we get it, um, it can be kind of re so these milestones can be reviewed during and after the application process before we actually sign it. So I think on mine, we we kind of revised uh, the milestones twice. I think it was. Um, so um, yeah, so essentially that was kind of what happened. Um, it depends on who is. Administrate, administering the project itself in a very real sense. In the case of Dr. Um, Wan Kade and Prof Chong, they already have experts um, in Petronas themselves. But in, in, in our case, um, a lot of the people who were working on these fibers were more geophysicists rather than rather than uh, engineers. There's, only, there's, one, there's one guy, there was one guy who knew about the intricacies of, of the system, but then most of them were like geophysicists. And so their concerns were slightly different to, you know, like the the people who make equipment, right? So um, it's difficult to kind of give a blanket kind of statement. If there is um, large a large pool of expertise, then I I would sus I ex suspect that you would have to give you know like more detailed stuff. But if not, then you know it might be some other kind of yeah um, other 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 things that they look, they're going to look at. Okay, uh, maybe Prof Chong, you want to add, to share about the proposal preparation? Prof Chong? Hello. Uh. Yeah, I think I, I have similar opinion as Dr. Wan and Dr. Imran. Huh? The, it, it is quite free in terms of the length of project proposal, uh, the timeline, either two years, three years, even four years, five years, I think it is okay. Or what are the preliminary results we have? But the important is they want to see good idea that able to solve their pain. And we need to provide concrete solution. And with the convincing evidence that they believe we, we managed to solve their problem with the budget and timeline provided. Okay. I think that's all. All right, thank you, Dr. Chong. Okay, uh, so, uh, Shahid, eh? Dr. Shahid, you want to ask question? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I have one question regarding the budget. How much budget maximum we can put, like a two uh, postdoc we can take and four PhDs? Can we maximum budget how much we can request? And also, like uh, uh, for, uh, Dr. Told, uh, for two years, three years, even up to five years, we can go for a, it is our own, uh, like a demand, a request to how much budget, uh, is there any limit? All right, so from, from the, I think from the other speaker, all the speakers say that, and also from the, the call for proposal, it is open, there is no limit, but justify with the amount of the work, lah. and also you can let the Pro Chong here get postdoc, he apply for postdoc also. So I think it's open, whatever you open. apply, apply it should be okay, but justify lah, with the work, the amount of okay. the work. OK, OK. And also one uh, more small question. Like uh, here uh, in the template, uh, it was a very simple, uh, just uh, a background. Luckily, they explained we need to write a pro literature review, problem statement, everything. What about the methodology? Still, we need to write here or no need? 
Prof. Chong? Yeah, of course, we need, we need to have the methodology, our solution. Okay, okay. Uh, what what, okay. what is the, the step in our solution? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you so much. I got your point. All right, thank you. Anyone else? Question? Okay, the question from Zakaria. Is this grant open every year in case we miss this call? Uh, for Nazura? I think last year, since last year, yes, they have opened and this year. Are we not sure for the next? <laughs> so I, I spoke to um, one of the people, right? And he said there's no like commitment, commitment, but they would like to continue working with universities. That's like what, what he kind of said. Um, it's not clear if it's going to be yearly or whatever. In our case, it was like two years ago. We only got it this year, right? So like... We don't we don't know what what's going to happen um, and and whether or not it's um, going to continue. But we did all of the universities then in the in the um, event said that they would like to continue to work with Petronas. Um, that's probably it. <laughs> Dr. OK, anyone else have question? Dr. Shahid eh, again? Ah, yeah, please. Okay, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Okay, I'm uh, Hanum from Institute of Science Biology, Faculty Science. I, I just want to know whether this, uh, from this grant that we apply, uh, can we buy a set, something like equipment uh, for the lab? That's all. Okay. Prof Chong or the one can answer the question. Yeah, can. Can uh, Dr. Kanum? Yeah. Sure, no problem. Okay, but, thank you very uh, much. Okay. But they will be happy if what? you can use their equipment. <laughs> but isn't it the case that they would own the equipment though? That was my understanding, right? Uh, okay, I their think, equipment at Bangi, you mean at the research center? I, I, I think it, like there was like a bit of a, I think we discussed this at one of the meetings and they were like, they weren't mm -hmm. sure what, what would happen at the end of the, at the end of it, if they bought the equipment. Um, so I guess we can kind of clarify it later on, but my, I would think that you can kind of propose it and then see what happens. That's probably like the best way out. Um, if they don't allow, then we'll just adjust. Um, they also have a bunch of equipment in their research centers, which they may or may not uh, open to us. Um, so in our case, I think we were asking for like, you know, can you help us to do the actual field deployment? And they said, well, we can't. We've done this uh, X and Y and Z, but um, there's no other place in Malaysia which allows this and it's going to be too expensive. It's not costed in. So if you need to do like um, any kind of field deployments or whatever, that you think then cost everything in, like including all of the travel and whatever. And also if you're gonna do like, you know, like on an oil rig, all of it has to be certified, which is really expensive. So like, if you need that, then if you, if you need that, then cost it in, like it doesn't really matter in, in that sense. Like if they think that you, um, they wanna cut that, then they will, right? So yeah, just, just put everything there. Okay, thank you, Dr. Imran. Okay, there is a question. What is the, the research direction and outcome that we aim for? Actually, this one, Dr. One already presented. I mean, we need to look at the focus area that Petronas look after. Eh? There are a few. In the call of the proposal, there is a, another slide eh, that showing the focus area. So we need to make sure it is in line with the focus area of the Petronas. Eh? Any other question? Can you advise on the title? Do we need to be too technical? Approach on? Yeah, it must be very technical, very specific. Okay, anyone else? 
Although, like, Dr. Dr. Imran and Dr. Wan mentioned, uh, we can fine tune even after we has been awarded. Huh? Okay, so the title can be fine tuned later, eh? Mm. All right. Okay, any other question from the participants? Dr. Shai tu nak tanya ke? Dr. Shai, you want to ask question? You put up your hand or you for, forget to? <laughs> To lower hand. No, I think I forget to lower oh, Okay, all right. It's okay, thank you so much. All right. Um, last call. Any question? <laughs> all right. So I think um, uh, we. I'm sure that this session has been very fruitful and we really appreciate the sharing session by our speakers, eh? Prof. Chong, Dr. Imran, Dr. Wan, and also they are also encouraging us to try to apply. Eh? So we never know. So I hope that all of us will try to apply. And maybe if you need help, I'm sure our speakers, Prof Chong, can advise. Later you can contact them directly. Eh? All right. So uh, on behalf of the cluster, we are really thankful to all the speakers and all, all the participants for your attendance today. So thank you very much. Have a nice day. Assalamualaikum. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.